Okay, we're getting behind the wheel of the all new 2010 Nissan 370 convertible. And as you can see behind us, this is an official media introduction, which most consumers don't get to see until it hits some of your favorite automotive magazines. Well, this vehicle is going to be hitting the market here very, very shortly. And today, we're going to get behind the wheel. Join us as we explore the all new 2010 Nissan 370 convertible. Our NADAguides.com car of the month for November. Well, for the 2010 Nissan Z convertible, they've made a host of different changes. We're talking suspension, we're talking torsional rigidity. Of course, our favorite numbers, horsepower numbers. We'll see you on the other side. The interior of the 370Z is also refined. You have suede accents on the door panels and you have leather wrapped accents on the dashboard. What I really like is the instrument cluster up on the dashboard. The gauges are very visible and pointed directly towards the driver. I also like the heated and cooled seats. You know, in a convertible, you always want heated seats, but having the cooling option is also nice. Navigation comes as an extra feature on the 370Z. Bluetooth is also an option, really rounding out the interior of this vehicle. So now that we've had a chance to take the 370 out on the open road, let's talk a little bit about the driving characteristics. It's a lot of fun to drive, and in the local foothills, with every single turn, this 370 hugs the road. Nissan's done a great job in the development of this vehicle. With this new 370, they've actually shortened the overall length, and they've widened the base of the vehicle, really giving you a great overall driving experience. The Nissan Z has been one of the most electrifying vehicles on the market, first hitting the road in 1971 with the famous Nissan 240Z. Well, we're back here at the hotel, and of course, Nissan's rolling out a full media program. Manufacturers like to bring in other vehicles that are also exciting within their product lineup, and this, of course, is the Nissan 370 Coupe, which was launched last year. But this is also part of the big news with Nissan. This is the Nissan 370 Nismo. Of course, Nismo stands for Nissan Motorsport. And this vehicle is all about one thing, and that's horsepower and, of course, performance. But let's get back to the Nissan 370 convertible, which is the big news, the hardware under the hood. It's got a 3.7 liter V6 engine producing 332 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque, and it's mated with a six-speed manual transmission with something that's called the Synchro Rev Match, which essentially matches your revs on downshift. The all-new 2010 Nissan Z has a host of new exterior features, starting with 19-inch wheels all the way around, but perhaps the most exciting new feature on this, of course, Colin, is the convertible top. Tell us a little bit about what makes this convertible top different from the previous 350. Well, the first thing is that the, the exterior material is now cloth rather than vinyl in the previous generation. The other nice thing is that the rear window is now sloped on this to make give it more of a coupe-like appearance. The other thing is, you can't see it, but the, the interior is now has a lining uh, and is insulated for wind and road noise, so it's, it's quieter with the top top up and it's just a more finished appearance on the inside. So we've had a chance to drive the car both with the top up and top down and it, it's true as Colin said you really don't hear a lot of that wind noise because of the refinement to the top on it but as you make your way around the car of course as we noted earlier it's a lot shorter and of course wider and we could feel that out on the roads. The headlights are something that I really want to point out because we talk about unprecedented automotive design and you can really see it here you know just making your way around the car a nice uh, pronounced front end of the vehicle gives it a nice aggressive look and of course we were talking about this top look at the color on top this beautiful burgundy finish all the way around this 370z is an absolute animal on the road and the price for this roadster is also a value starting at 36,970 this one right here, price is tested, is just under 38000 Well, that's it for this Nissan Media Ride and Drive. We've had a lot of fun in this 370 today. And I can tell you this, it's everything that it's made out to be, plus more. Join us next time on NADAguides.com. This has been the review of the 2010 Nissan 370 Convertible. See you next time.